Good morning all. Well, it is here in uh, Melbourne. So, what we have here is, I believe it is 18 fan motors here. Now, they collect quite a bit of room, so we thought we're going to go to, the, to our local scrapyard and we're going to see what we can get for them. Also got one of the power supplies. I'm not sure about these, but I do want to ask them if um, they take them and uh, what are the price because I've got quite a few of them. Um, we're also going to be connecting our trailer, which we've filled up now. There's quite a bit of things in there. We've scrapped out, so um there is a bit more room here the, the room for that is uh planning to put this old treadmill in there now what i did find out in the treadmills they actually have a really nice motor in them so a bit tricky to get out but uh not too bad so hopefully we can squeeze that on there and um, since i've got a bit more room what I'll do is I'll put a bit more of uh, stainless in here to go with it. Okay, so we've loaded up this big treadmill. Just squeezed it in there. There's a bit more room. So on the way there, possibly we can um, get some more stuff, fill it up and we've got all our stainless steel now i do sell quite a few of these but as you can see these are bent and uh, broken and i just yeah i can't sell these ones because they're not in a sellable state but we'll scrap them we'll get some money all right let's see what else is out there to top this trailer up let's see what the prices are Let's have a look, what's there? Right, can we squeeze anything else? Bucket? Yeah, I'll put mine in. <laughs> God, wait a second. Hello. And a candle. Okay, some Christmas lights, we'll take those. Okay, a couple of coins here. Okay. Cut that. Don't know if we're gonna manage. microwave yeah that's coming with us all right let's squeeze a couple more things in here. One of those, okay. Yeah. We'll just need a different uh, yeah. bit, as you can see. Yeah. Okay. 
quickly and to have the right tools for the job. So if you are thinking about pulling things apart in the street, uh, yeah, make sure you come prepared for the tool. What do you got there? Ha! Alrighty, here she is. Take her out. Perfect. Now we have a full trailer. Cords. Transformer. Actually, I did want to show you something. If you are taking these out, you can see majority of them will have uh, one of these coils aluminium, but um, if you get one that has copper on both to keep it, grind this part, remove it, it'll be worth your time. Otherwise, uh, just leave it as is and sell it as transformers. Okay. Let's... What is that? Foxtail. Yeah, yeah, we'll take that. IQ3 Foxtel IQ3 hmm. There's a nice board in there We actually have probably about 20 or 30 of these Okay What else can we fit in there? Steel Ooh, There's another cord Actually, quite heavy. That would be bad. Okay. I think that's pretty much it for this one. Okay.
as always uh, we do have a stop after our um, scrap run so this is a couple of things that we picked up unfortunately the GoPro either overheated or I'm not sure what happened um, this is fairly new to us so um, we couldn't film what we picked up but as you can see quite a few of these trays so these are all potting trays which will come in handy as uh, we're building a big greenhouse down at our farm so this will be very handy so I can't believe somebody threw all, all of them out as you can see, quite a few of them. Um, there's a couple more over here. And also some pots. Oh, how's that? Unbelievable. Um, what else did we find? Badminton set rackets and some quite a few cords gas fittings some aluminium microwave uh, a couple of routers fox satellite, satellite box some more cable that transformer we pulled out this microwave but this is the line so this is one of these uh, heaters and uh, the bloke that we picked it up in front of his house he actually said he just took it out and this works perfectly fine comes with a remote comes with a glass which is inside so I'm impressed this might be a project coming up maybe to put in the house I'm not sure um, hose, 18 meters, brand new hose, more cords, yes, forgot about this one, have a look at that, Lenovo, i5, it is broken, you can see up here, but uh, yeah, nice Lenovo. Maybe we can sell it for parts, who knows? And uh, what else do we have here? Oh yeah, looks like a rear, rear light for a car. It was all wrapped up, looks new. Tarp of some sort, also looks brand new. Um, these are actually brand new cups. If we ever go to the market, um, possibly we could sell them, not sure, but um, quite a few of these. Not sure what we we'll use them for, but uh, again, some more angle aluminium cords. So not, not a bad, we didn't spend too much time, it was only a quick run, but uh, yeah, not, not, not bad at all. Now, Before I go into the rewards for our efforts, I just want to mention that if you are into some street scrapping, trying to make a few dollars uh, extra by doing different hustles, please consider subscribing because that's what this channel is about we try and show different ways of um, making a few extra dollars now this is from our run today now just quickly I do want to mention that recently we had some things on the other side of the city and we ended up going to Manhari's and we took some metal with us now I'll share some photos of that trip but what I want to 
to quickly just show you so one trip to Manhari's we took quite a bit as you can see we took some motors alternators brass aluminium so that there was quite a bit even ba even batteries now the price has changed it has gone up but when we went um, these were the prices now it was a really good total in the end just over two grand 2168 which is the biggest uh, payout so far we've had also if you do end up going to Manhari's what I've noticed it's not a quick turnaround so just be mindful of that and it's it's a it's a long day it's pretty much a day's process well for me it was to get down there and um, to unload and to come back uh, yeah, it was quite a long day so but the prices are really good now for our little trip to our local scrapyard today so we had 32 kilos of stainless steel at a dollar 80 which came to $57.60 then we had 63 kilos of electric motors which were the fans um, at 85 cents that's $53.55 and we had 505 kilos of pressing at 24 cents to a total of 121 and 20 cents so our grand total for today is $232.35 so as you can see there are ways you can make a few extra dollars and uh, yeah I'm really really happy with this okay guys please subscribe share or comment down below and uh, we'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.